I know you're busy right now. Or they may say, oh, I'm sorry for the interruption or I'm sorry to bother you. I promise I will not take too much of your time. Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry to bother you. This is weak language. Now, this language does a couple things. It does something internally, it does something externally. Uh, the external thing that it does is this communicates a lot of weakness to the people you're trying to sell to. It will make them lose respect for you, less curious about what you have to offer, more guarded, think that you're a product pushing salesperson and that they need to get away from you and block you out. So that's what it does ex externally. This also will impact, when you say stuff like this, you'll feel like I'm a taker, I'm not a helper, I'm bothering people and I need to apologize and I need to be careful and these people don't want to talk to me and I need to just try to get a little bit of time from them. Using this language and talking in this way will impact how you feel on the inside. It will make you less confident, less secure. So first of all, just stop use, using this language if you ever use this. There's no reason to ever apologize, especially in business to business selling. You represent your company, you're contacting another company and you're seeing if there's a need and an opportunity to do business. There's nothing to apologize for. You definitely want to be respectful of the prospect's time. I like asking, have I caught you in the middle of anything? That's respectful. That's not saying, oh, I'm sorry to bother you. I won't take too much of your time. It's okay to be respectful, but you don't need to be use weak language and apologize. And, and when you say, oh, you know they're busy, that means that they're what you have doesn't offer value. Let's take a step back actually and picture this scenario. Let's say that you find a wallet on the ground and there's a bunch of people around you talking in the middle of conversations. Would you be scared to, to give that wallet, to try to find the owner of that wallet 